This technique is a firm favourite for those of you who've just started making jewellery and those that have been making for years. A good old stretchy bracelet. Really, really easy to make, but there are some tips. So here's a lovely bracelet that has a charm on the front and a little bead at the back, and I'll explain why in a second. So, where do you start? First of all, I would cut at about double the amount that you think you're going to need, just in case. And I've already threaded on all my beads, they're exactly the same as the bracelet there, and popped on a little bead that has, if you can see, a very large hole. Try and find a bead that has a large hole, or perhaps a cord piece of wire, um, to hide the knot when you've actually tied it at the end. So here is what you have to do. Take your elastic and pull quite tight. You'll see it will go quite transparent. It will start to sort of come back on itself and tie a knot. Now I have a tip. If you go underneath and over again and tie another knot, it just protects it a little bit. It just makes it firmer. And because you've got your bead there to hide the knot, you're not going to see it. It's not as if that, that's going to show. And then I take a tiny little amount of just clear nail varnish. I'll be careful of the glue that you use because sometimes it can eat into the plastic. So just give it a little tug. That should really be left to dry before you snip it. But so you can snip that off as close to the knot as you can. And then if you pull, that knot will just pop inside that bead and you won't be able to see any of those tails of the elastic. So that's how to make your stretchy bracelet.